So back out here with the bed heads, we got a good yeah. video from one of our, um, say that again. What's up? We got a good video from one of our uh, co-workers um, asking some really good questions about a uh, young cedar realm, and I'm going to answer those right here, right now. And I will do this to anybody who sends me a cool video like Drew sent me, um, but he was asking questions about this young cedar elm that's just starting to bud out in the spring, and is it okay to prune it right now? Will it hurt it? What's the best time? What's the worst time? Can he limb this up? And, um, and what would be our recommendations on, um, on pruning this tree? And um, to answer that, those questions uh, one at a time, you can absolutely prune a tree that has, um, that has just recently budded out. Um, the, the, the times that we don't normally recommend pruning is if a tree's under a lot of stress. Um, but even then, you can, uh, you can prune out a lot of the dead wood. Um, even on a tree that's under stress. But right now is a perfectly fine time um, to prune your tree. Um, he had asked if we could, uh, if these lowest limbs um, could or should be removed um, because of uh, possible uh, interference with the mowing. And the short answer to that is, I would hold off as long as I could from removing it from here. These lowest branches are considered temporary branches. Um, on any tree, we're going to look at where is the lowest permanent branch. And honestly, on a tree this small, they haven't even shown up yet. Like where the lowest branches will be when this is mature are probably above what we're seeing right now. So all of this is considered temporary branches. Um, but what these are important for is proper trunk taper. Um, these help a lot as the tree develops. So what we would recommend is, of course, where we have two branchlets coming off of the exact same spot, I would uh, eliminate one of those. Um, and most likely the one that's, um, that's causing any interference with, with maintenance. But I might take one of these off. Um, I might take anything in here that's crossing or rubbing. But I would leave these. If I needed to get them out of my way for mowing, I would do it from the end of the branches through what we call a reduction cut rather than a removal cut. I'd remove one of these. Um, and then one of the most important things on a lot of these trees is always looking at its proximity to the house. Um, this is roughly about 15 feet from the house. The mature width on this tree is 40 to 50 feet in many cases. So one of the things we're going to want to do to this tree, he had mentioned this split right here. That's actually one of the things I would first want to correct. Uh, cedar elms love to form this co-dominant leader. And one of the things I would encourage on a tree this young, this close to the house, is to prune this to a strong central leader. And it takes some work with the cedar elm. But one of the first things I would try to do is mitigate this emerging codominant. This is the area that as the tree matures is most likely to split. So we want that to be tall and straight with a good scaffold of limbs coming off. So the first thing I might do is perform what we call a reduction uh, cut on one side of this codominant. And what we're wanting to do is reduce the amount of leaf surface on this side so that the other side has a competitive advantage and will grow taller and straighter. Each branch of a tree is its own independent energy center. If I remove a lot of the foliage off this one side, it won't grow as fast as the side that I don't do that on. So there's a few areas of this tree that I might, as it's young, go ahead and try to get this thing to where it's tall and straight by removing some of the growth off the competing leaders and trying to get this thing to go tall and straight. Beyond that, a tree this young, we're looking at doing what we call a crown cleaning, where we're gonna remove any of this crossing, rubbing. I'd leave the bird's nest alone. I don't know if there's anything in there, but I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, but anything that's crossing or rubbing, um, you could come in here and do a lot of this kind of pruning in here, um, cleaning it up, reducing the competing leaders, both here and here. Um, and then, um, give it a good, um, what we call a total tree care, but give it a good root injected fertilization um, so that it stays healthy. And um, you should be able to, uh, to trim this every probably two to three years. I would try to do a young tree like this yearly. It makes it much, much easier. Um, there's very little limbs that come out of it. And the more you can prune that tall, straight central leader, the better behaved this tree is going to be and the better relationship it's going to have with the house.
If you guys have any questions about this or anything else related to uh, tree and shrub, ask the bedheads. We're happy to, um, to, to provide a, a video response. Um, we love doing it. So give us your questions and we will come out and answer them. Thank you.